Thank you for listening today on Revealing Wholeness, sponsored by Infinity Whole Health. Check out our website at infinitywholehealth.com, where we are revealing the eternal in each individual, the infinite in the individual. The creativity is made manifest. Limitation is let go. Now, here's your host, Dr. Troy Munson. Hello and welcome. I'm Dr. Troy. Energy drinks are a huge, huge business and unfortunately a very delicate topic in the terms for most people, especially if you like them. And I want to be very clear here that I care enough about you that I'm getting ready to tell you the reality of it, but also I'm not here to make judgments on you using energy drinks or not using them. I, I want to get away from that. I want to encourage you and empower you to make your own decisions, but also you must accept the consequences of those choices, just like we all must. I don't escape them any more than you do. So let's jump into the mouth of the beast of energy drinks. Now, I'm only going to cover the top three big ingredients that are, that are pretty harsh in most energy drinks. First off is caffeine. We're going to cover high fructose corn syrup and then the synthetic vitamins. We're not going to go into all of the artificial stuff and the caramel color, which in and of itself is probably one of the worst chemicals you could put in, your, in the human body. And I mean, we'll make a special mention for some of those things, but let's just cover the main things because everybody wants energy and we're probably going to find that they're going to have lots of caffeine. So what does caffeine do? It inevitably creates adrenal fatigue. Now, I say that and it's like, what is that? Now, for adults out there that may be doing energy drinks, you're probably doing them at two or three in the afternoon and perhaps you're doing one in the morning just to wake up. But that afternoon low, I remember starting to feel that afternoon low at like age 22 and nobody had told me what it was. I had no idea that I had adrenal fatigue, but being an athlete for most of my life, I had no idea that I had depleted myself of so many things. Had energy drinks existed back when I was 22, I probably would have tried them. But instead, I just took naps. So, what is adrenal fatigue? The adrenal glands handle stress. They're there to produce stress hormones that make us kind of get a little edgy. And that's what caffeine does. It mimics that. But now our body has to try to handle that caffeine. And in order to do that, it takes a lot of nutrient value out of the body and thus we inevitably deplete ourselves even more. And so it's stressful to the human body to have this in it and so it does weird things to it. The adrenal glands lead, need lots of trace minerals, but especially copper and zinc. And there are other really important organs out there that need copper and zinc, namely the testes and the ovaries. They produce our sex hormones that make us feel good, look strong, look attractive, protect our skin, protect us from disease, help us repair, all those things that you want a good, long, hearty, robust life. And energy drinks are depleting that. Yay! So you're going to hear me say at the end of this, and we might as well put it out now, is these are short-term gains with long-term pains. So if you want to rob Peter to pay Paul, so to speak, in your life and basically push off the consequences of your nutritional choices, by all means, my friend, continue doing energy drinks. Now, the other thing that caffeine does is affect the pancreas and blood sugar. And it's really hard as a chemical on the pancreas. Now, I have not delved in personally into all of the mechanisms of what caffeine does to the pancreas. I've only heard this from mentors of mine. I've never asked them, hey, where's your research on that? But I will begin doing things like that. I've just heard that it is indeed hard on the pancreas. Now, if it is not, we do actually know that high fructose corn syrup, which is a favorite of energy drinks, is hard on the pancreas. And it is equally hard on the liver as there now is non-alcoholic fat, non fatty liver disease, which is basically from high fructose corn syrup. And so let's take a genetically modified corn. Let's, make, let's take all the sugar out of it and concentrate it into a high fructose corn syrup. That just sounds like an award-winning thing to feed the public. But we do it. 
So here we have caffeine creating liver, or excuse me, adrenal dysfunction or adrenal fatigue. It's also harming the pancreas. Here we have high fructose corn syrup causing pancreatic issues and liver problems. It is also causing gut irritation and gut problems and leaky gut syndrome because of what it does. And now lastly, we have synthetic vitamins that they typically put in energy drinks to make you feel good about buying them. Hey, it's got B vitamins in it and whatever garbage that they think will sell you as, and again, whatever herb that they think will also be cool. Maca and ashwagandha and echinacea. I mean, it's wonderful, these, these chemicals that they're putting in there to try and make it more appetizing for you and make you feel good about drinking their crap. But these synthetic vitamins, here's the rub. You can't pull these synthetics off of a tree or a bush. They come with many different phytonutrients and the actual natural form of those vitamins that then are used in the body correctly. And everything that's needed by those vitamins to use them correctly is provided in nature like it was designed. And when man tries to design something completely anemic, and throw a few vitamins that they synthesized in a lab somewhere in a drink, you are going to have to rob your body to try to process those vitamins and use them in whatever way, shape, or form that you possibly can in your body. So it's going to leave you more depleted, which is then going to create deficiencies and more ill health. So energy drinks have been beaten up, I'm sure, a lot, but I wanted to at least just cover some basics of them so you'd have an idea and be able to make a better decision about what to do. There are a hundred better ways probably to make an energy drink than what they do. What if they used a natural raw, sh raw honey, like for sweetness? What if they actually used maybe even green tea where there was just a tiny amount of caffeine that would be acceptable? And again, green tea is made if it's organic and actually has all the constituents to use that caffeine in a way that nature actually intended it to be used. And what if you actually just decided to get real food in your body and a full complement of trace minerals and vitamins and just felt energetic no matter what? and you had good protein sources and good fat sources and just felt good and had enough sleep, would you need an energy drink? Well, of course you wouldn't. But I digress. So if we're going to drink an energy drink, there's probably a much better way to do it. What I would do is if I were creating an energy drink, I'm sure I would brew some organic green tea. I would add a significant amount of raw honey. I would put raw apple cider vinegar in it. I'd probably even throw some enzymes in it and probably some molasses. It probably wouldn't taste that great, but if I'm looking for energy because I'm on a high performance athlete, then by golly, that's what I'm going to do. You might even throw some medium chain triglycerides in there or some coconut oil or something of that ilk, and that would probably be wise for energy. So if you are a hardcore athlete, please check out our podcast coming out within the next two weeks. And again, this is the, the middle of February. So please check that coming out very soon on, I, I, it is an amazing little article that I review and he is awesome. I'm going to give you that information there, but I'm going to talk at length about athletics and what to do and how they, how they operate in these high end athletic performances and the crazy, ridiculous, horrible things they do to their bodies just to perform at those levels. It's really quite crazy. So please stay tuned for that. Until next time. I'm Dr. Troy, and remember, there is way more right with you than there is wrong with you. Thanks for listening. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach Dr. Munson at 360-893-8586 or email him at chiroman at dr.com. That's C-H-I-R-O-M-A-N at dr.com. Check out our current workshop schedule on Facebook at Infinity Whole Health. The information on Dr. Troy Munson's podcast is meant to educate the listener and is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent disease.